Welcome, welcome. I'm G Pot Silvermane. This is a Marvel Strike Force video all about the curse of Miramaza. I want to talk about the chaos theory here real quick because it's really a big part of my beginner's guide and why it's so important. I just want to kind of display that here. Now this comes once a month, once every five weeks, but these are the requirements to earn these rewards. And it's just insane the rewards you get, right? Um let's go over here and look at it real quick requires four recondens for the first four which i did not know and the fifth one you actually need shuri five recondens so by then you will have her easily following the guide you know if not you'll probably still have her maybe who knows um but as you can see the first time rewards 20 20 that's just insane 10 but then you only get one two three four. Oh, it jumps to five and one my bad the first time rewards are awesome now what my guide does is set you up at six months to be getting, you'll get those first time, but you get this three times each month. So that's 60 and 21. That's only a fifth of a six star promotion. And it's a seventh or eighth of a seven star, red seven red star promotion. So six, seven months, between four and seven months, I should say, to get a, a six or a seven red star that you of your choosing, rather. And you've already have to have them at six to get them to seven. This is just insane, guys. So you want to be maxing this at six months. Because a year and a half in, you'll just then be able to spend these gold ones. Bear in mind that you can get some of these from the Battle Pass. If you're free to play, they are very hard to come by. The gold ones are just, it's a huge bottleneck. You might get them in a calendar or something, maybe, hopefully. Um, they do build up over time as, uh, or no, those are orb credits, my bad. But this 60 is only a third of a five star. 33% of a five star that you're getting once a month. Um, it is essentially a four star because it's only 50 credits, but I just want to see how important that is. Now let's say you're over here doing anything less and you're just getting less guys. Why get less when these are so crucial, so hard to get. You literally get one of these a day unless there's something going on or you get them from a spending money, battle pass, strike pass, um, a calendar. You only get one of these a day and you get none of these. So, this is a huge, huge event. If you want your account to grow as fast as possible, this is the way to do it. Okay, so max your Wakandans. M'Baku is the best character in Arena Store. So please, please be maxing that. All right, we're going to jump into Curse of Miramaza. And I'm not going to show you all the fight scenes. Uh, I went through and did this last night. Um, this is my uh, free-to-play account. This is as far as I could go because I'm not level 58. Now, if I was level 58, I think my five... That have the trait maybe because two of them are real weak because over here you can use any five they remove the skill requirements for medium which is awesome that's just helping newer players catch up you know to people that are hitting this one already and it's getting you better rewards um this gives you the best you get 10 purple gear per node the first completion and you get some silver samurai shards i think it's like 25 26 shards something like that that you get from doing each of the nodes the first time and then it's just whatever you get from the orbs. So that's an extra 25, 26 shards. That's huge, you know. Um, you want to be doing hard if you can. But as a newer player, if this is your first one, if you started recently within the last month or two, you probably aren't doing hard, maybe. Um, I'm not level 58 yet. But essentially, it lets you use your five best for either of these. You want to be doing this one um, as far as you can, or as far as you can, I believe. I don't know that there's any real difference here. Like here, you're spending 12 energy for 50. So that's four four credits per energy. Let's go see what the next one is here. Oh, I already beat it. But you're getting 80. And these cost what? 16. So you're getting five credits per energy spent. So that is more, essentially. And if you don't understand how I'm getting that number, if you look here, 80 credits and it costs 16 five times you're getting 400 credits for 80 energy essentially that's five energy or five credits per energy which is better than the first one and believe you me it's like 20 energy for the hard node when you go to the hard campaign instead of medium it's 20 energy but you're getting like 700 or 800 credits so it's over double i mean it's you want to be in the, the highest level you can guys but anyway i went through on medium and I just beat each node. Boom, boom, boom. I enjoyed the story. It was kind of... Uh, um, he gets the team back together. The Weapon X team. Uh, 
most of them anyway and he goes after the weapon x team from another dimension that has a mirror maza blade and it's going around cursing everybody because when you strike somebody with it or something it puts some of the uh darkness or evil into them and it turns their eyes red just like ultimus does <laughs> it takes control of them and it uses them for its will the blade's will needless to say and the people at wolverine uh all of weapon x from another dimension or another time or whatever they have a blade of uh what's it called the dark blade or something like that and it uh they're going around just trying to transform everybody here because they've already done it to their whole world um and wolverine gets silver samurai which they hate each other obviously um and he goes to get Sabretooth, but he can't get him and he gets uh lady death strike dude i can't get down with the fingers i'm sorry i am going for the weapon x team on my free to play and my main really but i don't know if that i can go too hard man i love wolverine but those fingers just gross me out bro all right, so I beat everything, and once you get to the end, you'll have a little bit left, but you just want to go up here and you want to pop these 450 refreshes, just like you do on your regular campaign energy every day. Um, if you have enough cores, go ahead and do the 100, but remember, you're going to be spending 200 cores on this, 200 on your main campaign, and you're not going to make, you'll be losing cores steadily, because you're only going to get like 300 cores from your milestone events and uh, arena and such, so... Now, if you're in the top 50 or something in an arena, you might be able to sustain doing a 100. But that's for spenders and wells, guys. Uh, I just recommend doing the 450s of what I'm going to do. I usually get a 4 to 5 star on my uh, main account, and I still only do the 50 core refreshes. So, but I am getting more credits per energy spent in the hard campaign. So this one might differ. You might get a 3 to a 4, close to a 4. It depends. RNG is really, really heavy in these events. Um, but if you're doing the hard nodes, you always get a 4 star. I don't see how you couldn't unless you missed days or something. But uh, after doing your 450s, you just come back in here and you go boom, auto win. And you just follow it from the back here. And the reason you do that is because it used to be like, uh, not only do they have more credits to get, and you don't want these early ones to expire too fast, because you these nodes will run out. And then you'll be back onto easy, getting even less credits. Um, it is one credit per energy, but you're spending a thousand energy, that's a thousand credits. You know what I'm saying? Adds up huge. Um, 25% is a big drop in credits anyway you just want to go over here because they have more more credits and you usually get better loot like it's 800 800 800 and then it goes to 700 i think in the hard one credits per energy i hope that's not confusing anybody <laughs> but anyway you just do these until you're out of energy and then you come back with your free ones and you continue let's say you get all the way to the end um you'll go over to easy and you'll go to the end here and you'll start hitting this one um it is four energy or four credits to one energy, 4.25, something like that. Um, and then the next day, you'll just come back in here and do it again. That's all it is, guys. It's real quick, real easy, real simple. Um, like I said, if you're doing, you want to be doing the hard one. So if you're level 58 and you're not able to clear the hard section, try to try to clear it, man. Get Even if you have to play it, it's worth it because you're getting so many more credits. Um, it won't let me show you guys, but you're getting so many more. All right. That's all I really got. And this is the only one that has requirement. Like, as you can see, I can only use these three because they have the honorable trait, and I can use these two. Whereas here, I can just use my five best. Boom. And boom, or boom. You know what I mean? And I just blew through it. There's autoplay. You can't really lose it. Um, I hope you made use of this. I'm not to the Koye node, but I am getting close. I'm going to go ahead and show that real quick here. I've been going through, and I'm stuck. What? Behind another level cap 58 <laughs> so i might actually be able to get to the hard part of that uh event campaign during the event but i'm waiting uh okoye is 6-3 i believe boom right there i do believe um next is 6-3 and i can't get there even though i could probably beat it i mean look at this i've three starred it i didn't three star that one but even if i could one star okoye node i'd be hitting it every day she is the one of the harder pieces the hardest piece actually to get to just goes behind a level cap but you can see i got taskmaster two six and it don't take a special team to get here guys so i'm just saying that you can do this pretty simply uh so i'm farming taskmaster taskmaster task taskmaster and uh moon knight from cosmic every day they are two essential pieces guys all right that's all i got for you guys um if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. We're growing fast, and I'm trying to get to 1,000 subs, and then 400,000, and then 1 billion. I don't know. 
hopefully it never stops right everybody come in and join our community i want to say thanks to everybody that has subscribed hit that thumbs up if you find this helpful or useful um everybody get that four star silver samurai you know he's the worst one of the weapon x team but he is the taunting tank he's beefy man i'm telling you and he assists so i thought he's pretty clunky watching his moves but you're gonna need him he's not a bad character at all might as well get him it's a free event campaign right um all right you guys stay healthy and we'll see you in the next one